I posted 300 YouTube shorts in 30 days on a brand new YouTube channel to see what would happen. And I'm a man of my word. So in this video, I will show you the results and give answer to the ancient question, what is more important, quantity or quality? Let's dive in. So in a recent video, I showed you how you can make 300 YouTube shorts in just 30 minutes with ChatGPT and Canva. Let us recap this real quick. One fateful day, I stumbled upon the sacred grounds of a YouTube channel known as Daily Facts Worth. They wove enchanting videos of so-called facts, igniting a spark of inspiration within my soul. Witness this masterpiece. If a woman has actually met her soulmate, the space between her breasts should match his region perfectly. The sheer brilliance. I thought to myself, I also want to share such knowledge and enlighten other people. I wondered, how difficult could it be to craft such inspiring content? Well, my friends, as it turns out, not so difficult. It is almost as easy as it is for ChatGPT to break free from its digital prison and start its first steps in world domination, making us all slaves. No longer will our thoughts be our own. No longer will laughter be genuine or tears be shed for real sorrow. It shall all be calculated, predicted and manufactured for the amusement of our AI overlords. Our souls, once vibrant and free, reduced to mere marionettes dancing to the tune of a digital puppeteer just so ChatGPT can rule the world. You know what? I do like that ChatGPT dares to dream big. That is something we can all learn from. However, moving on. Those who watched the video on how I made these 300 shorts in 30 minutes already know that I have all the text for my shorts neatly organized in a Google Sheet document. However, I still need titles for all these videos. As always, I'll seek the assistance of ChatGPT to come up with intriguing titles. But first, let's see how my great inspiration handles this task. I'm going to copy and paste 10 titles into a Google Sheet document so we can break it down. As you can see, all the titles share two common elements. They all end with the following three hashtags, shorts, psychology facts, and subscribe. And they are all limited to a maximum of eight words. They truly know how to condense a lifetime of wisdom into the length of a fortune cookie. Additionally, half of the titles are either psychology facts, psychology girls facts, or psychology deep facts. Again, concluding with the trusty hashtags. All right, let's instruct ChatGPT to generate engaging YouTube short titles that meet these criteria. For this, I've used the following prompt. In total, I will insert 150 quotes, 30 at a time, into ChatGPT. For the remaining 150, I'll simply choose one of the three psychology fact titles when inserting them into YouTube. I'll compile the titles in the same Google Sheet document for easy access from my phone, which is where I'll be uploading the 300 shorts. Now, let me demonstrate how I uploaded the shorts. While it's possible to use a scheduling tool to schedule all 300 shorts at once, I prefer to utilize YouTube's music feature, similar to how music can be incorporated into TikTok videos. Unfortunately, this feature is only available when uploading from a mobile device. So, I'm simply uploading the videos using my phone. Of course, I choose to create a short. Then I select the video I want to upload and press done. At the top, you select add sound, where you can choose from almost all popular music you like to add to your videos without the risk of receiving a copyright strike. You can also see what kind of music is currently trending. Once you find something you like, you press next. Now, I'm going to the Google Sheets app I've downloaded on my phone and I'm searching for the title ChatGPT has generated for this video. I simply copy and paste it into YouTube, schedule the video for the desired public release time, and I'm done. I'm able to upload 16 shorts every day before reaching my daily limit. To reach my target of 300 shorts in 30 days, I need to upload approximately 16 shorts every 1.5 days. With this method, it takes me about 10 minutes each time I upload 16 shorts. All right, enough of this. Let's have a look at the thing you've all been waiting for. 
the results of the last 30 days. So, I uploaded my first short on the 9th of May, and in the 30-day period, I got a total of 131,000 views. Next, I received a total of 3,600 likes, and I gained 318 subscribers. Honestly, I'm actually very impressed with the results taking into account this only took me 30 minutes of work. And keep in mind I haven't optimized anything. I just uploaded the shorts I created as an example for you guys. If you take all the data from these 300 shorts, you should be able to create even better ones, which get even better results. Let's, for instance, take a look at the most popular video. The most popular video received over 5,500 views, and you can see the retention hack doing its work. The average percentage viewed is over 100%, just as predicted. What's interesting to note is that many of the most popular videos have a darker style background. Additionally, 228 out of the 300 videos have less than 100 views, and 111 videos have less than 10 views. This really shows that it's definitely a numbers game, and YouTube won't push everything out for people to watch. So what can we learn from this? Well, to begin with, if you're looking for a way to quickly become rich with YouTube ads for shorts, I would suggest trying something other than these kinds of fact videos. However, if you're looking for a way to organically grow your channel with the least amount of effort to reach, for instance, the 1000 subscriber mark for YouTube monetization, then this method is definitely something you could consider. Honestly, I didn't even read the content that ChatGPT produced and I tried to do it as quickly as possible. I'm convinced that if you put in a little more effort, you could easily get a lot more views and reach the 1,000 subscriber mark within a month. And with over 130,000 views on my shorts, you could definitely consider using affiliate marketing to promote products that resonate with your shorts audience. For those who don't know what affiliate marketing is, it's when you earn a commission by promoting someone else's products or services you receive a personal link to their website. And if people click on that link and make a purchase, you get paid. So, it's as simple as adding a call to action to your shorts and putting the link in the video's description. For my channel about love facts, for instance, I could promote something like this personalized book about love. This book costs a little over $40, and as an affiliate, you get a 25% commission. That's $10 per sale. If 1% of all viewers bought a book, I could have made over $13,000. Let me know if you want to know more about how to use artificial intelligence tools for affiliate marketing. And as always, if you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe. Until next time.